So let's turn to man uh, manufacturing. And, and uh, Moderna Therapeutics is the first biopharma that's been born in the cloud. So Marcello, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about your situation there and how you're using big data and analytics to advance manufacturing. Yeah, uh, so if you look at Moderna, what we do is messenger RNA medicines. And what really messenger RNA medicines are, are instructions to the cells to produce proteins and to prevent or cure diseases. So if you look at it, this is the instructions is data. Whether you're producing a messenger RNA for an antigen or a messenger RNA for a heap or messenger RNA for VEGF, you're changing the code. So it's fully data driven. And I think today we're at a fortuitous time where the advances in life science technologies like proteomic, genomics, next generation sequencing are fueled by the, the revolution in information technologies. I mean, if you look at the cloud with Amazon, we, we, uh, I'm going to do some publicity for Amazon. <laughs> we, we use Amazon to, uh, to do our computational science. We can scale up to thousands of servers for a couple of hours, shut them down. We have the flexibility, the agility at very affordable cost. And this, this enables us to improve our daily science. If you look at AI, or I would say advanced algorithmics and analytics, we, we, we use it to uh, get insight to the data. If uh, we haven't talked about blockchain at all in, in this conference, but if you look at what's happening, I was at a, at a different conference regarding blockchain, and, and uh, there was the IEEE uh, body working on standardization of blockchain for clinical trial. I was surprised. And, and so blockchain is probably good coming into this industry to help us with the trust factor. So if I look back at how we use all this at Moderna, I will give two examples. Our scientists, we designed what we call a drug design studio. So they, they go on a web page where they have access to data from the external world, data from the internal world. They design their messenger RNA to produce the protein they need. And they click on a button at the end of the day, and they send all this information to a central lab that produces this protein. And the central lab is fully automated and digitized. So we're collecting all the data from the central lab and putting on top of it analytics that we feed back to the scientists so they can improve every construct that they are working on. So this is one example. We do the same on clinical trials where we're connected with the CRO and we're pulling all the data on the clinical operation. We are seven years old. We have 10 programs in the clinic, 19 programs overall. And to be able to accelerate learning, improve our quality, we're leveraging all the data that we can get and putting the analytics on top of it. And I think the, the best example I have is, is our personalized cancer vaccine. So our personalized cancer vaccine, this is precision medicine. So we produce a, a vaccine per patient. And to be able to produce this vaccine per patient, not, we fully automated and digitized the whole process so we collect all the information. But not only we did this, we embedded some AI, machine learning, in the design of the vaccine to select the, the neoepitopes that are most immunogenic. So we trigger the, the, the best response from the immune system. And this, this personalized cancer vaccine is in clinical trial with our partner, Merck, who is in the room somewhere here. That's so exciting. You know, as you were speaking, I, I was thinking about all the different situations now where by kind of abstracting away the concern about the types of data centers and compute, et cetera, and the capital investment that used to be required before, you've allowed scientists to really dream and explore and do things in such a short time frame they never would have been able to accomplish before. Absolutely. I mean, we, we shock at all, all the, the cycle time to invest in those uh, infrastructure that we don't need anymore. So we are accelerating the pace of how we do the science. And we're, we're focusing on, on helping and, and sitting down with our partners and in, 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 in the different functions to understand what they need and how they can improve using the technology.